Dan and Tosa says, geez, guys. It always is going to be good when it starts with geez. Geez, guys, it's getting really hard listening to you guys bash the Packers in love over and over. Yeah, yeah, I know you're going to say you're not bashing love, but honestly, guys, that's what it sounds like every show. How about you show some support and offer content on how we can succeed and will succeed? Just a thought. And I'll say this, like, we're I'm rooting for Jordan Love. I can't tell you how many times I've talked about him being a good dude, a high character guy, somebody who I think is going to be great for for the state of Wisconsin, will be a good representative for the franchise. Uh, he's well liked by his teammates. We, if if you're going into the season thinking, hey, we're going to have the same expectations that we've had for the last three or four years, which is Super Bowl or bust, and this is Packers title town stuff. You're setting yourself up to fall on your face. And if you want to listen to a show where we sit here and we blow smoke up your you-know-what and just tell you how great they're going to be, even if we don't believe it, then and there's plenty of other shows that will do that, but this isn't one of them. Like, I think Jordan Love can be a very good quarterback in the NFL. I think that he can be a very successful quarterback with a long career in Green Bay and have great success. I don't think that the, ba- that, the, that the Packers this upcoming season in 2023 are set up to return to the heights that Aaron Rodgers had them at from 2019 through 2021. Those three years, you had 13 wins apiece. I don't think that they're going to be back there this year, and that's okay. That's not ripping Jordan Love. That's not ripping the Green Bay Packers. Do I think the Packers did some stuff bad over the last year that resulted from them having that expectation to this expectation? Yes. But if their answer to that is, we know that we were going to have to have a reset year, and this is the year we decided to hit the reset button because we think that Jordan Love is the guy in the next five years with Love and Watson and Dobbs are going to be that much better. I hope they're right, and I'm rooting for them to be right, and I think it's possible that they are right. But 2023 Ain't going to be a return to 13-3. and three. 